All right, welcome to my very first run of Siberia GOG version. And I am going to do a new game and take from that. All right, so we are inside our very first area of the game, and I think this is an hotel area. So, for those of you who haven't played this game before, I think we are playing as a lawyer sent from New York to handle a deal, and then things obviously happens. And yeah. That should be enough to get us places. And also, you might notice that the game is playing in full screen and that the character model is a little bit crispier. You could actually also make it the the background and surrounding graphics sharp with anisotropic, but that actually brings with it a graphical bug where you can see black lines uh, surrounding objects that you can interact with. So it's kind of spoilery and also doesn't look great. So if you're playing on your own, you might want to go for that and wait, but for this let's play, I didn't want to do that. And I will have a link to a video where I go over how to improve Siberia graphically and how to get it to run smooth and in full screen. Also, if you enjoy what you're seeing, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons, obviously. Having said that though, let's actually try and get some work done here. Uh, so this probably means I can do something. Oh, so it's a little brochure and I think there might be quite a few things to read in this game and I will not be reading all of it. So when we have things like this, I will read a little bit and then I will just insist that you pause the screen if you want to read the rest because otherwise we might spend a long time with me just reading stuff. So welcome to Valadilen, the world capital of mechanical toys. Let yourself be transported by the magnificent landscapes running Valadilen, a small charming town tucked away in the Alps and by Vorlberg Manufacturing, whose exceptional savoir faire in the specialized world of luxury mechanical toys and automatons is at the root of Valadilen's reputation around the world. For 800 years, the Vorlberg family has passed its knowledge from generation to generation, perfecting the art of that particular branch of clock making that breathes life into the complex network of cogs and spindles that make up automations. It's created Wonderswans defied belief and drew the admiration of young and old alike. People would come from across Europe 
first chance to buy for the right to own one of these fantastical toys. And this would be a good place for you to pause for a bit, because I'm not going into this one. Rudolf Vorlberg managed the business during the glory years of the Vorlberg factory. Since the end of the Second World War, the destiny of the factory has been in the hands of Rudolf Stadter, Anna Vorlberg, the last and sole descendant of the prestigious line of craftsmen. This inspiring figure negotiated the business through the end of the war. She breathed new life into production by creating works of art to appeal to expert enthusiasts alike. Vorlberg automatons became rare collector's items with highly novel innovative mechanisms of unequal ingenuousness, even to this day. So, oh, we got a little something. Okay, so this is the menu. We have a cell phone, we have a dialogue notebook, and the brochure. We can do take, and we can do consults. So we can look into stuff. Have to, oh yeah, very retro looking uh, phone, for sure. Also the sounds. I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Ah, huh, so we're not interested in that. In fact, what we are interested in is a little service, I think. Can we go up here? I shouldn't leave my luggage here. Looks like a key. Let's see if we can. And then with that. Before we do that, though. So, as you can see, I'm moving the mouse cursor all over the screen. That is classic point and click adventure pair. Because there might be a little something hidden somewhere. Hi there. Hey, hi there. What are you doing? Can I see? No, too difficult. Momo's work very difficult. Momo? Okay. I mean, I'm not judging. So, your name's Momo. I'm Kate. Momo do like Hans. He draw. Hans? Don't disturb Momo. Momo work difficult. Will you show me your drawing? No, not finished. Go away. He seems a bit difficult. I've just arrived. My case is a little heavy. Can you help me take it up to the room? Momo strong. Very strong. But no time. Momo very busy. Yeah, you look very busy. Also, I'm I guess I'll let you continue working. Also, he is a lying. <laughs> it's a lying little scoundrel because from what I can see, he doesn't have a paper. He's carving stuff into the desk. Yeah, shame on you, buddy. Okay, now then. Okay, okay, I'm coming. So unfortunately you can see some of the graphical stuff that is living in this game when you uh, upgrade it a little bit. You can see some dark lines here and there, but they are not as prevalent as they are if you go even further. So I think we'll have to just tough it out. Who are you, my good sir? Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? 
that you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Momo sad, but Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo! Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram! Get out of here, you hear? What was I saying? Oh yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valet de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. All right. Room looks kind of nice. So... Can we I that? don't need that for the time being. We cannot. No need to go down there. Surely you mean go in there? Do you know that we're going downstairs? We can't jump on the bed. Ah, facts. And we have a date. 2002. It actually felt like this was... I don't know, earlier? Even though... <clears throat> we did have that phone. So, yeah. Anyway, to... <laughs> Kate Walker from Edward Marson. Dear Kate, our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more than eager to see conclusion from the talk of Vorlberg Manufacturing with view to a takeover in the days to come. And we have received notification to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anna Vorlberg, the current owner, to a close. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational which has a monopoly on the toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also presenting Madame Vorlberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her of this fact in case she starts having last minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I am under no doubt that you will live up to the great expectations I have in you, Edward Marson. Marson and Cormont Associated Law Practice. So, uh, yeah, we are a lawyer from New York indeed. Actually, uh, twelve four five eight nine zero two. I should tell Marson about the death of Miss Varlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Oh, we want to get back to <laughs> the Big Apple already. I see. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe we could call them and see what happens. But now it kind of seems like the game wants us to do that anyway. Also, can we look at it again by doing that? Yeah, we can. Wait, that was it? Marson and Lamont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please.
Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Lynn, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> well, he's an asshole. <laughs> well, maybe I'm too uh, harsh, but he seemed like an unpleasant sort of a dude. All business, no manners. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we can try to get into other rooms, I think. Can we also... No, I don't think we can go further. No need to go down there. Oh, hello. No need to go down there. All right, then. So double click... No need makes to go down one. there. Can we pinch this? I don't think we can. No need to go down there. All right. Have it your way. So the no need to go down there, is that her just I can't do that answer for this game? No need to go down there. Okay, I get you. I get you. Can we go down here though? All right, before we talk to the gentleman, uh, let's, yeah, he did drop some stuff. Uh, the other one as well, please. Can we shake the... Yes. Oh, we have two more. Okay, so this might be me being damaged from playing other games such as this, but this might actually be like the solution to a puzzle uh, further along. But we now have medium cogwheel, tiny cogwheel, small cogwheel, and large cogwheel. And uh, I think that's it. Yes. Now, we can talk to the gentleman. I'm back again. Miss Walker? Can we ask about the Momo? Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid! No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself, that's all. All right. The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. Did you know Anna Vorlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. So, yes and no? Okay. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Awkward. Yeah. Anyway, uh, mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. So him shaking was that close? All right, here we go again. Once again, Edward Ma Marzen is back. Dear Major Alforte, Alfolter, as you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations for the takeover of the Vorberg manufacturing by our client, the Universal Toy Company. The TUTC, if you will. It is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of the manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vorarlberg, with whom negotiations had started. We are under no doubt that Madame Vorarlberg left you instructions before her death. Enabling this sale to be concluded, we should remind you of the significant boost the arrival of the American multinational will bring to the economy of your region. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative, Mrs. Kate, Miss Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Yours faithfully, Edward, not so pleasant in person, Edward Morse. Thank you. At your service. All right. I'm going to go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. Okay, then. Out we go. I have to say, though, even though they have a lot of automatons, this place seems kind of semi-creepy but they have that bird going so uh okay so we can go in two directions i think we came from the bottom area here so let's go to the left ah okay maybe they were the one same no need to go down there okay Run, girl, run! She has an interesting style of running, I have to say that. Here we go again! That weird little... Oh, yeah, we'll just have to bear with it, I'm afraid. Oh, is this something? Okay, let's, let's move a little to the side so you can see it. Strange looking door. Yeah, this is definitely a puzzle. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Well, of course it is. It's it's a point and click game after all. Okay, so we're not getting in there. No need to go down there. Okay. How about this then? No need to go down there. Let's talk to the baker. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of morning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. But tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. Uh-huh. So no no bagels? Is that, is, that, is that our life now? No need to go down there. No bagels for us. No need to go down there. Yep, that was a thing.
And this will once again be a good place for you to pause it, because I'm just going to read some of it. Marling the loss of the Queen of Our Hearts. Let us pay homage today to Anna Borgler, who died peacefully yesterday at the age of 86. The great lady devoted her life to her business and our community. This formidable woman had an extraordinary energy, a force that allowed her automaton technology to develop and to make her valley continually proud. Her vitality was matched by her generosity and goodness, which has marked all of Valley Land's inhabitants. The mayor of our town has declared that today would be a day of collective mourning in honor of Madame Vorover. Her funeral will take place this morning at 10 a.m. in the parish church, officiated by the town's own priest. All right. No need to go down there. No, all right. I think this is another one of these weird looking doors. Yes, it is one of those weird looking doors. Can we do something with this? Oh, nice. Oh, we can put something here. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, and now? That was kind of cool. I should talk to the notary first. Okay, but whatever that is, we're gonna get it later. I think this is a. Uh... Not sure what that is, but this looks to be uh, a place we can stamp. Your approval of, of things. Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. I'm just going to hover over your stuff first. No need to go down there. Okay, a seat it is. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course, I was waiting for you. I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Seeing how as Madame Varlberg is no longer with us, I trust that I can rely on you to conclude the sale? Please do not set your hopes too high, Miss Walker. I fear that I cannot be of much help to you. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Hans. Have you ever met Hans Varlberg, Anna's brother? I have a few vague memories of him, that is all. I was very young at the time. <laughs> very young. If you don't mind, can we come back to that later? Huh. That is a magnificent automaton you have at your entrance. I'm very proud of it. And since my health problems, it has become absolutely indispensable for me. Yes, indispensable. It was Anna Vorlberg who had the idea. She provided many houses with this kind of machinery. You don't find it suspicious that Madame Varlberg left us so suddenly? Hmm. Her death took us by surprise. She still seemed to have so much life left in her. I would have loved to have met her. Anna Varlberg was not only one of my most faithful clients, she was also a very dear friend. All right. Let's talk about the mission. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. 
We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now, I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... an heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. <clears throat> I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too, even though you were very young at the time. It was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this, too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive. So when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Alright. Uh, I have never had the chance to see my dear brother again. Fortunately though, Hans and I have remained very close in thought. Throughout the years I have been able to follow his meandering life as a sporadic son of use. On occasion he would write me letters, but they were rare, as my brother since his unfortunate accent has maintained a phobia for the written word. However, he has sent me several plasma automatons that I eagerly had made up of the factory, and I will admit that they have largely contributed to the success of Worldverse creations. Hans has always had a marvelous gift of breathing life into objects through a clever combination of cowboys and springs. My little brother is a genius in the true sense of the word. Let's turn to the matter in hand. Rest assured of my personal conviction that my brother will not object in the slightest to the sale of the factory. If I have already passed away when you come to me this letter, it is to him that the matter should be addressed. I received this last letter six months ago, posted from the north of Siberia. I regret to say that I have received no more recent news. I am aware of the difficult situation in which my confession and lack of further details leave you, but I wish to die with a clear conscience. I will be grateful, dear Matre. Alpha Chair, if you could inform the American law firm with whom I have been dealing of these developments. I have grown so old, so tired. With all my respect and final greetings, Anna Vorlberg. Anna Vorlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Vorlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. 
You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. That was a very polite way of saying, could you please leave me? And so we shall. And I think this is also where I will leave you for the very first part. I'll be back, of course, with more in the next one. Thank you for joining me for this Siberia adventure. I hope you had as much fun as I had. I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye-bye.